Okay guys, I am going to do the short video to remind you how to make a foolproof layout in order to print your saddle stitched booklets. Remember, some printers won't really know what to do with an eight page booklet, but following this foolproof layout, all you'll have to do is bring your file in and ask them to print double-sided. You'll get two sheets that are printed double-sided and then you on your own can take them and trim and fold and staple them yourselves. Okay? So, I'm starting here with the file that you have, the roller coaster 8-page file, and we're completely finished with um, designing. Okay, and now we're going to get this ready in order to relay it out for your foolproof layout. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to file export. Okay, and I'm going to put this on my desktop. Now, when I'm going to resave this as layout pages, So I know what I'm looking at when it's in my file and I'm going to save. Okay, now think logically about what you're doing. You need to create a PDF that has a bleed but not crop marks because you're going to take this PDF and place it back into a new InDesign file in order to make the foolproof print layout. So you need to have that bleed in order to create a bleed for your print version. All right. So we're going to go to marks and bleeds. I don't want any marks, no crop marks at all on this version, but I do want my bleed. So I'm going to click use document bleed settings. Okay. And I'm going to export it. And here we go. We have an eight page piece with bleeds but no crop marks okay now I am going to close this file okay and now I'm going to open a new file now when I'm setting up my artboard I have to think about my finished size of my project my project right here, the roller coaster project, the finished size is eight and a half by eleven. Eight and a half being the width. To set up my new artboard, I'm going to now double my width. So if my width was eight and a half for my finished project, my new width is going to be 17. All right. I'm not going to have any facing pages, and I'm only setting up one page and I'm making sure that my bleed is set. Okay, so if your menu or your future saddle stitch book is four inches wide, then you would set up a new document that was double that, so it would be eight inches wide. The length, the height, would be the same as your finished project. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna create. Now we have our I'm going to shrink it just a little bit. Now we have our artboard that is double the size of our finished project. The first thing I'm going to do is to set the center of my page, which will be the fold line. So I know that eight and a half is my center. It also coincides, if you think about it, okay, this right here that will be the size of your finished page is eight and a half by 11. Okay. So I'm deleting that. Just wanted to show you. All right. So we have our 17 by 11, two eight and a half by 11s right next to each other. So now I'm going to command D to go place. And I'm going to go grab the layout pages that I just saved. I'm going to click that. However, I'm going to make sure that show import options is checked, okay? This is the first time you'll be placing something out of a multiple page document. 
So you have to choose which page you want to place. If this is not checked, it's going to default to the first page every time you try and place it, okay? So we want to show import options. I'm going to open and you get this options menu, okay? Here is where you get to choose what page you place. This is the real-time thumbnail of what's going to be placed. Notice that I have a dotted line that is not the entire page because of this, okay? This says crop to bounding box visible layers only. Well, in my document, everything below this image is not visible. It's blank. So it's not cropping to that. But I want it to crop the entire page no matter if it's visible or not. So I'm going to go down here and make sure that everything I have, including the bleed, is cropped to. And now you see that my dotted lines include the entire page. And that's going to make it better and easier when you're placing to line things up. Okay? So now I'm on page one. So remember our paper dolls that we made. And if I was to open up my paper dolls and look where page one is, it tells me it's going to be on the right side. So I'm going to place this page on the right side. I'm going to make sure that the top, the outer edge, and the bottom are lined up with my bleed line. Now, this center line, the guide that we pulled, is not a trim line, right? It's a fold line. And our bleeds are only to um, protect our trim areas. So we don't need this bleed right here. And actually, it's bad because this uh, eighth of an inch is going to print on the back cover, and we don't want that. So I'm going to hover over this anchor until my cursor changes. I'm going to click and drag and crop that little piece off. Okay? Now for the left side, I'm going to Command D. I'm going to go back to my layout pages, making sure that Show Import Options is chosen. I'm going to open up, and because of my paper dolls, I know that the left side of this page needs to be page 8. So I'm going to go all the way to page 8. You can either come in here and type page 8, or you can use the arrows. Options, crop to bleed, and hit OK. All right, here's my back cover. I'm going to make sure the top, the outer edge, and the bottom all line up with the bleed, and then come to the middle and crop out the center. Okay? Now, we have our first page set. We've done all the work we need to do to get it lined up correctly. We've cropped the bleed out of the center fold line. Now we have to do our other pages. So instead of just adding a new page, and setting up the center line and placing the new files and cropping the center. Why do everything over again when we've already done it once? Okay, so instead of just adding a page, I'm gonna go up to the top that says Layout, Pages, and I'm gonna duplicate the spread. Okay, now you may not have noticed anything change. You can come down to the bottom and see that you have page two in your um, menu uh, page indicator down here. Okay, so we have an exact duplicate of what we've done before. Okay, that means all the work that we did is already done. So now, according to my paper dolls, this left side is now page two. So I'm going to click in the page so that it gets selected. I'm going to Command D and I'm going to choose Layout Pages. Now before I hit Open, I want to come down here and make sure Replace Selected Item is checked. This is going to make sure that whatever page I choose 
replaces the page that's already on your document. So I'm going to hit open. I'm going to move to page two and I'm going to hit OK. And page two drops perfectly in where you had page eight. All the crops are already done. All the alignment to the bleed is already done. Okay. So now I'm going to come to the right side according to my paper dolls. This is page seven. I'm going to hit open. I'm going to move to page seven. And I'm going to hit OK. OK. Now you can do the same thing. Layout, pages, duplicate spread. Okay. Now your paper dolls should be, should tell you that this is now page three, correct? So we'll click on the right side, Command D, layout pages, page three, and hit OK. And Paper Dolls says that this page is page six. I'm opening that, page six. Okay. Now we've done three pages. We have one more page to do. So I'm going to go layout, pages, duplicate spread. And now this left side is page four. And this right side is page five. Okay. So now you have four pages, which is going to, when it prints, turn into two double-sided pages. Okay. So we're print ready now. Okay. We're going to go up to file. We're going to export. Actually, I'm going to save first. Save as. You always want to save this version because if you have to go back and make changes, which you probably will to your original, once you save those, you can just go back in here and relink it instead of having to relay it out all over again. Okay, so I'm going to save this as print. Actually, I'm going to save as foolproof layout. I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to go export. I'm going to do it as foolproof layout. I'm going to save it. Now I make sure that I have my crop marks. Okay. Crop marks and my bleed settings. I'm going to export. And now I have a four page document that all I have to do now is bring this file to the printer and say please print back to front okay so guys if you have any questions on doing this because you will be doing this for your comps for your phase two um, then just email me and I'll see if I can help you out have a good day